Hi, my name is Brooke. I'm a field engineer for Columbia River PUD. Columbia River PUD delivers electricity to our community. We deliver it to your schools and many of your homes depending on where you live. Before we go too far along, let's stop for a second and think about some of the things that use electricity. If you're watching this right now, you're using electricity. Electricity powers cell phones, TVs, computers, laptops, video game systems, lights, refrigerators, washers and dryers. Some houses use electricity for their heat in wintertime or air conditioning in the summertime. The goal for this video is to help you understand exactly what electricity is and how it's made. Simply put, electricity results from the flow of electrons moving from atom to atom. Everything in the universe is made of atoms. This includes our human bodies, animals, stars, planets, trees, air, water, everything. Atoms are so small that the tip of a pencil is made up of billions of atoms. An atom has three smaller particles, protons, neutrons, and electrons. The center of an atom is called the nucleus. The nucleus is made up of protons and neutrons. Protons have a positive charge and neutrons are neutral. They have no charge. Electrons are much smaller than protons or neutrons and they are constantly spinning around the nucleus in shells. Electrons have a negative charge. Opposite charges attract. That means that the electrons and protons are attracted to one another. In a lot of atoms, this attraction is enough to keep electrons in their orbits around the nucleus. But sometimes the electrons in the outermost shells of an atom don't have a strong attraction. That means they can be pushed out of their orbits. For example, metals like copper and aluminum have loosely held electrons, so they can be pushed from their shells by moving magnets over them. Atoms like to be balanced. That means they want to have an equal number of protons and electrons. So when an electron leaves an atom and moves to another atom, one atom will be short an electron and the other atom will have an extra. This causes a chain reaction where electrons move from atom to atom trying to balance out all of the atoms. Moving a magnet inside a coil of wire causes elect electrons to move from one atom to atom in a flow. This flow of electrons through wire is called an electrical current and is how we create electricity. The electricity that we deliver to you comes from the Bonneville Power Administration, or BPA. Most of that electricity is hydropower. Hydropower is the largest renewable energy resource in the United States. Hydropower is electrical power made from the flow of water. In just a minute, we'll get to the specifics, but basically hydropower is made when water works to push magnets around copper wires. But before we explain how hydropower is created, let's talk a little bit about renewable resources. A renewable resource is a natural resource from the earth that never gets used up. With hydropower, that source is water. Our source of water is replenished over and over again through natural processes, in this case, the water cycle. Rain and snow melt fill up rivers and streams. The water in the river runs through dams where they generate electricity. The water goes through the dam and goes right back into the river which flows to the ocean. The sun draws moisture from the ocean through evaporation. This forms clouds. The clouds condense and moisture falls back onto the earth as rain or snow causing the cycle to start again. Okay, now let's talk a little bit more about dams. A dam is built on a river so the water pools up behind it. Because of gravity, water throws down through the pipes that are called penstocks. The water can be directed to flow past large turbine blades. These blades are connected to a shaft. When the water flows past the turbine blades, it cause, causes them to spin the shaft they are connected to. The shaft is connected to a generator. The generator has lots of copper wires wound around the perimeter of it. The shaft has electromagnets attached to it. The magnets spin around inside of the copper wire. Like we said before, when magnets pass by copper wire, it causes electrons to flow from one atom to the next, which creates an electrical current. The electricity that is created by these generators then flows through a series of wires, substations, and transformers until it gets to your home or school for you to use. There are other ways to make turbine blades spin to create electricity. One way you might have seen is wind. If you drive toward Idaho, you can see lots of big white wind turbines that create electricity. BPA has 31 hydroelectric dams on the Columbia River and the Snake River. These dams work together to create most of the electricity that you use every day. If you have any questions, please call us, email us, or visit our website at www.crpd.net.